Co. I'm the creator and founder of Made by Wendy, and today we're gonna make a recipe from my cookbook, Colosso Cookies. Something really amazing and something absolutely fantastic are these peanut butter and jelly cookies. They're giant stuffed cookies that will remind you of your peanut butter and jelly days from when you were a kid. I mean, who does not love peanut butter and jelly? You can easily substitute the peanut butter with almond butter, another type of butter that you absolutely love. So let's get to it. So first step we're gonna do is actually take a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna put our favorite peanut butter on here, quarter cup each to make two circle rounds. And that's actually what we're gonna do first. We're gonna freeze it before we go on to the next step. So let's do it right now. So the first step is we're gonna take a quarter cup of our favorite peanut butter, spread it around on parchment paper into a disc about four to five inches in diameter. Approximate works just fine. And then we're gonna freeze this for at least 10 to 15 minutes. So first you start with one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, and you add your brown and white sugar. Mix it together nice and well for about two to three minutes on medium speed until it's nice and fluffy in texture and also lighter in color. Scrape down the sides to ensure things are well mixed together. And then we're gonna add one half cup of peanut butter. Then we add in our large egg, also at room temperature. Keep in mind, room temperature ingredients bind together better, easier, so it makes for a better cookie. The vanilla extract, and then now, scrape down the sides again, and in our flour mixture, with cake flour, bread flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I like to use a combination of bread flour and cake flour for this recipe because the bread flour gives it a really nice crisp and the cake flour gives it a really nice soft texture in the cookie. You're going to absolutely love this cookie when you try it. I'm just testing for the texture to make sure it's not too sticky and not too dry. Scrape down the dough into your work surface. So here I have a piece of plastic wrap down and I'm going to work the dough, split it in half as evenly as possible set the other dough aside, and I'm gonna start dividing this other dough in half. Roll it like a ball, press it down slightly, and then I'm gonna start using my fingers to work around the inside, but also using my other hand to create an edge around. This is what's gonna hold the filling of the jelly and the peanut butter. So it's really important that we create a nice little area for the ingredients to sit in there. Then we add one quarter cup of our favorite jelly. We're gonna smooth it out as best as possible, making sure it's evenly spread around. Next we take our frozen peanut butter and we put it on top. And then we take the other dough ball and roll it around and flatten it so it can go on top nice and perfectly. Don't worry if it doesn't cover it exactly because you're just gonna pinch the sides a little bit to meet the cookie doughs together from top and bottom. Smooth it out so you have one whole cookie. And also it's important to smooth it out so it doesn't actually leak while it's baking. And now we're adding the lines to the peanut butter cookie. I'm using a chopstick here. Make it nice and easy. And then with the frozen peanut butter, it actually makes it easier to work with to add these lines. Otherwise, if the filling is too soft, it can make it difficult to create these lines. I wrap it up with plastic wrap, and now I'm going to place it in the freezer for at least 30 minutes to overnight. Here it is frozen and ready to be baked. And now about 30 minutes later, we have this beautifully baked cookie. Look at that nice crispy edge, beautiful sheen, so perfect. And now ready for a cookie break. Look at how pretty it is and look at this filling inside. I mean, who does not want to take a giant bite out of this cookie? Beautiful peanut butter sheen, and then there's that jelly on the bottom. Absolutely amazing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then you can even break it up into smaller squares like this and enjoy it more individually. Isn't this amazing? I love that. Peanut butter and jelly, so delicious, yum. So everybody, how did your cookies turn out? I mean, absolutely amazing peanut butter and jelly stuff. I mean, just like a sandwich, but in cookie form. 
perfect breakfast cookies, I have to say. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, and the recipe is also in the description box below. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye guys, see you.